Namaskar. Anga or the correct way of holding your body is very important. Three reasons that I can think of. One, aesthetically it looks beautiful and you are aligned, you feel good and that's when you start to dance. Two, you can prevent injury because that is the time when you could actually hurt yourself if you're not concentrating. And three, the correctness or the proper controlled execution of your movement is something that is going to enhance the way you dance. How do we do this? Our body has three major parts. Torso and below, the leg section, which consists of thighs, the calves, and the ankles. The thorax region, which consists of our chest and our belly, and of course the back at the back. The head, which has all the minor limbs, which need to be aligned and controlled as well while you're dancing. Let's start from the base, from the way we stand or we keep our feet. How do we do that? Heels together, toes apart. Normally, we keep one fist difference between the two heels for one reason, that it's more comfortable, and for the other one, the ghungrus don't then rub against each other. Make sure that the distance is not more than a fist because if you broaden this area, the body will then have to sway from one side to the other, which may not look very elegant. Let's get back to our natural way of standing with a fist difference between our heels. Once the ankles and the toes are aligned in position, make sure your knees. Now when you bend your knees, you need to see that the knee is corresponding to the second toe of your down there. So when you bend, maybe you're not being able to see your toes because from a height, it's not possible to see what's down there. That is the correct bending position. If you were to bend your knees inside or outside, you could hurt yourself because in classical dance, we do one movement millions of times. So every time, if you're not going to hold it correctly, it's going to hurt you or break certain ligaments, which will be repaired every now and then, and that's going to be trickier and trickier as they go by. So make sure that when you're bending, you are bending your knees above your toes. Let's come to the ball and socket, the hip girdle here. The hip girdle needs to be opened so that the alignment of your ankles, your knees, and your hip girdle is one on top of the other. Now that's very important because that is going to hold your thorax and your head. The ankle aligned to the knee, aligned to the hip girdle, both balanced on the same flare, not, not forward or backwards, on the same plane. So now we've aligned the leg area. Let's focus on our thorax. Two major, three major parts actually, the stomach area, the chest, and the back. All the three organs need to be consolidated. Now the core region here consists of many muscles. It's not just one single muscle, but a combination of many muscles that holds the central axis all together. Very important to keep them toned as well, because the, toned, if, the more toned they are, the more strength they will have to control your entire body. Make sure the tummy is tucked in, the back is not protruding out but in alignment and the chest is also in one single line. We've done the thorax, we come to the shoulder. The shoulder needs to be dropped down and pushed back. Do not jut it forward or push it back, just down and slightly back so that this area is getting the right strengthening. You will have to hold your arms and move it in every direction. That strength will only come from this, this ball and socket joint on your shoulder. You now come to the head. The ears. The ears need to be aligned with your shoulders. Not lopsided. Make sure they are in one single line with the shoulder. The centering of the eyes, right in the center. The chin in a normal 
upright right angle position. So there you are, you fixed your head, the shoulders, the thorax region, the hip girdle, the knees, the ankles. All over the body is aligned and you're now ready to move forward into the world of dance with correct posture. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I will be uploading a new video every Wednesday. So, subscribe to this channel and stay connected. You can also like, comment, share and send your feedback. Happy dancing!